Clarissa Ramos. I am currently the Executive Director of PDG. I took the position of my late husband um, when he was after he was assassinated in November 6, 2018. PDG stands for Paghida Etzakoswagan Development Group, or when it is translated in English, it means Peace in Development Group. We are uh, our NGO serving the marginalized and poor sectors of Philippine society. Uh, mostly um, situated in the southern part of the Negros Island. And we have been implementing programs on agrarian reform, sustainable agriculture, and human rights. After the assassination of uh, my husband in, in 2018, uh, most of the PDG staffs um, and even human rights defenders and leaders of the farmers' organizations were subjected to state-sponsored attacks so this includes um, not only uh, vilification and red tagging, but also killings and unjustified arrests. Well, in, in Negros, um, actually, our government uh, our government's response in this pandemic has been very harsh and repressive. The lockdown was transformed into um, a crackdown on individuals and organizations, airing out legitimate dissents. The lockdown was used by the military to hunt down and harass our staffs and arrest community leaders. Uh, yes, yes, it is true. This lockdown and the and, um, draconian moves of our government to silence the dissents of the people, uh, instead of resolving the spread of the virus, has really has extremely stressed out our communities. Um, farmers have lost their crop production because since since February, late February until 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 June, they were not really able to uh, tend their farms because they were they were being stopped from from going to their farms and, and tending their their crops. So they they lost their crop production, and um, because their movements were also restricted, uh, farmer farm workers uh, were unemployed for months, and um, in the communities in the coastal communities, fishers fisher folks were also forced to confine themselves. So majority of our communities did not receive food and farm assistance. And uh, this further engulfed them in hunger. On top of it, they were surveilled like criminals also. Well, um, honestly, I am afraid of my of my own security. Um, no one can guarantee my security because all of us are under attack. Our government, who is supposed to protect us, are the ones killing us. I have been vocal, exposing this uh, persistent impunity happening in my country and I will definitely be a sore in the eyes of the government. But as I said, well, um, despite all this risk, I will continue to pursue justice for my husband and to, and not only for my husband, but to pursue justice to all victims of, of these human rights violations.